Hey guys, welcome back to Marie's Kitchen. Today we are going to be making some Puerto Rican dishes. And first we're starting with Puerto Rican rice, arroz con candules. Hope I said that right. And we're also going to be making monfongo. So if you guys are interested, these are some of the ingredients you're going to need. Just stay tuned. So first we're going to start off by making the sofrito and these are the ingredients you're going to need. A few bell peppers, different colors, some tomatoes, cilantro, and also some garlic. And you're going to go ahead and cut these in bite-sized pieces and throw it in your blender. It actually makes a lot and y'all I've already been using this in different dishes and it's so good. So definitely worth it. It's going to be a big batch but these are the ingredients you're going to need. Next, you're gonna cut up your veggies into bite-sized pieces so it blends properly in the food processor. Once you have everything chopped up, we're gonna go ahead and throw it in your food processor or your blender, and then we're gonna season it up a little bit. I'm gonna be adding about a tablespoon of white vinegar and about a tablespoon of oregano and salt to taste. I recommend you blend everything in small batches just so everything blends properly. Also, make sure you scrape down the sides of your blender or food processor so that everything blends evenly. Once you're done, this is how it looks. And y'all, it smells amazing. I don't know how onions, garlic, and peppers just smell this good, but it smells so good. So set this aside and let's start on the next step. I also added the sofrito in this airtight mason jar. This helps it last a little bit longer since it makes such a big batch. But if you are not going to use it within the week, I recommend freezing it. Next, we're gonna add about a tablespoon or so of the sofrito, and you're gonna go ahead and cook that down for about two to three minutes. And once that's done, you're gonna go ahead and add your tomato sauce. Go ahead and let your tomato sauce cook down for about another minute or so. Next, we're gonna add our seasonings. I'm taking this not chicken vegan bouillon and we're gonna crumble up one cube. Next, we're gonna add our sasson uh, seasoning package and I'm just adding one of those. And then we're also gonna add some adobo and all the measurements will be down below in the description box. Once you've added your seasonings, you're gonna go ahead and take one can of green pigeon peas, also known as gandules. Um, you're gonna add the whole can, including the liquid. Next, we're gonna add some green pitted olives and mix that all together. Next, you're gonna add one and a half cups of water and two cups of rice. Make sure you rinse your rice very well until the water runs clear. Go ahead and give it a good mix. We're gonna go ahead and cover it and let this cook on low heat for about 25, 30 minutes. Go ahead and check it and give it a mix. And we're gonna cook it for like additional 10 minutes. All right guys, so after the 10 minutes is up, this is how your rice is looking. Y'all, it was so delicious. Go ahead and fluff out your rice and this is how it turns out. 10 out of 10, definitely recommend. 
Now moving on to the mofongo, you're gonna need some plantains. Um, I wish mine were a little bit greener, but uh, they've been sitting for a while. So you're gonna need a couple of green plantains and chop those up into bite-sized pieces. Once you have your plantains cut up into bite-sized pieces, we're gonna go ahead and heat up some oil in a pan and fry up our plantains. You're gonna fry them for about three to five minutes on each side or until they're like golden brown. So this is how you want them to look. Once they are golden brown, go ahead and remove them and set aside. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add our plantains into a bowl. We're gonna add some vegan butter, minced garlic, and season it with some adobo. And you're gonna go ahead and give it a good mash. We're also gonna add a little bit of water just to slightly loosen up the texture. And this is the desired texture that we're looking for. Not too watery, but also not too stiff. So next, we're gonna go ahead and make a gravy for the mumfungo. This is optional, but we're gonna start by frying up some onions and some garlic and some oil. So once your onions and garlic have softened, we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of flour. And you're gonna cook your flour for about three to five minutes just to cook out that raw taste. Next, we're gonna add some seasonings. I'm using salt and pepper to taste, garlic powder, and a little bit of mushroom seasoning. Next, we're gonna add some water to make the gravy, and you're just gonna keep mixing and adding water until you get your desired texture of gravy. All right, guys, so now that your gravy is done, go ahead and pour it on top of your mumfungo and enjoy. All right guys, so this is how it looks once everything is complete. Super delicious. I had so much fun making this. Definitely give this recipe a try. Let me know what you think. Hope you guys enjoy. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.